Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Today, we are deciding where we want to level, and I have decided that we will be not going to Dogshore, so we're not going to check out Breaking Waves of Change. We're going to be heading to Stormwind, and I think we're going to head over to Westfall. I want to check out Westfall, Redridge Mountain, and Duskwood. Instead of doing, uh, you know, Dark Shore down to Ashenvale. I just like those zones more, to be honest. And the way you get there is actually different in Cataclysm. You, you get there from Rutheran Village, which is connected to Darnassus. There used to be, I forget the name of the town here, but there was a port here. And that port would bring you to Darnassus. Um... Azermist Isle. And also, uh, I can't believe I forgot the name of the port in the wetlands. There was one there. I guess that got destroyed too by uh, Deathwing. Here we are, guys. We're in Stormwind. It's kind of crazy. So you can go from Darnassus all the way to Stormwind. That is wild. So yeah, Stormwind looks much different with this massive port at the back of it now. Looks kind of cool, actually. But that's how it is even in uh, in retail. It's the same. I think this port over here, or one of these ports, was uh, the port that we then I took during Dragonflight to get to the Dragon Isles. Yeah, it seems like they revamped Stormwind and Ogrimmar in Cataclysm. I assume Ironforge is still the same as well. It's not much Deathwing can do to uh, to destroy Ironforge since it's hidden in a mountain, you know? Looks pretty cool. Get a view of all the ports here. Plane just flying over. Be awesome if we had flying, but we don't. We don't even have a mount yet. I do have a little bit of gold on this server, though. With uh, the, the DK. We got the DK up to level 80. So he has a little bit. And then I also have uh, Squidly Diddly, the Shaman. We got him to 70, and then Trap and Trap, the other hunter, Dwarf Hunter, at 60. We got a little bit of gold left. I spent a decent amount of it, though, to get flying for the DK. Yeah, Stormwind looks much different. There's This is where the portals are here. They're all over there. It's like Cathedral Square got... Or the back of Stormwind clearly got wrecked. And they uh, did a little renovation of it. Looks like Deathwing went right through here. Looks pretty cool. And I think we'll make uh, Stormwind our home. I also got first aid, guys. So we now have first aid. I guess I'll put that here. We can make linen bandages now. And we are heading to Westfall today. Not a big fan of Darkshore. Just don't like the vibe of that zone. I never did playing it as an Alliance character. So if I'm going to check out, you know, Cataclysm, I'll probably do the zones I like the most. It's like Dark Moon Fair is up. This is the Dark Moon Fair. I buy and trade. Go with honor, friend. All right. So we have a couple items, I guess, we could put on the auction house. The auction house is actually right here now, just like it is. And it's pretty much retail classic now. <laughs> exact same. Cities are the same. 
Supposedly they're updating um, Orgrimmar. I've heard Orgrimmar is going to get updated. I wonder why this uh, tomahawk is so expensive. I, I doubt it'll sell for that much, but we could try uh, posting it. Uh, I'll be shocked if anybody buys it for for that amount. 17 gold. It's for that? No way. How about this? Two gold. That's more fair. I don't know why people have... Well, this is up stamina. I guess the other one that I was looking at may, may be a little bit higher. Dag flank we can sell. We'll try to make as much coin as we can. Crocolis meat. Looks like that doesn't sell for too much. Ruined leather scraps. I think this is junk. I wonder if anybody buys those. Yeah, they sell for 12 silver each. And then we have these green pants. Maybe we can sell them for three gold. I guess we'll just keep the rest. Should we buy bags? I think we'll wait on that. These small spider legs we can sell. And the add-on I'm using for this is called Trade Skill Master. It just makes doing auction house stuff faster. I also have a Malachite we could sell. I don't think I'll do jewel crafting on this character, so might as well sell that too. And we'll actually start making some coin back. Should have 10 gold in no time. We need some coin to get our, our mount. But yeah, maybe that's why they're changing the way Storm went, How I guess, Orgrimmar looks. Because it does look a lot like... Uh, it does now in classic. Safe travel. And I guess that's considered to be pretty damn weird, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't really feel like classic anymore, right? Because really, it's just it's pretty much just re it's retail. Safe travel. I think that's why people consider classic to be, you know, vanilla TBC and the Wrath of the Lich King. Once Deathwing comes and changes everything, it's it's completely different. We also don't have skills, I don't think, anymore. Right? Like there, there's obviously reputation still, but we don't have uh, skills to level up. So I assume we can just equip anything, right? Guns, crossbows, bows. That seems to be the test has been the case. Swords, axes. Yeah, I like I like classic Stormwind better. King's honor, friend. We can get anywhere from here. We can actually fly everywhere. Already, we have like a decent amount of places we can already fly. You go check out uh, Goldshire. Why not? Be careful. Let's fly over there. See what it's like. There's the. The Drake from Deep Home. Stone Core. I've been taking a break from the Boomkin for a little bit just to get a little bit ahead on the on the Worgen. I'll be playing the Boomkin from time to time still. There's really no rush, to be honest. And I've still been playing a little bit of WoW Remix, just collecting bronze. I might try, I'm might. i going to try to get more mounts and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to gear, like, level up the gear, like, try to make my character strong. It doesn't really seem necessary. Unless I want to do some more raids. Maybe, maybe I'll level it up and we'll check out some of the raids on normal. But I assume they're, uh... They're, they'll probably be maybe just as easy as they are on the, looking for red. Yeah, Lion's Pride Inn looks pretty much the same. Not much going on here. And then we got the Dark Moon Fair here. But it's not like Dark Moon Fair in Classic. You actually go through a portal. And then it brings you to like this island. Where there's like a bunch of games you can play and stuff like that. I don't think we'll check that out today. Maybe we'll check that out later on. But it's a good thing to do, especially for this uh, 
first days of Cackles, and there's some pretty good trinkets you can get if you can get all the, the cards for it. Dark Moon card volcano is uh, nest and slot up to Fire Lance for my Boomkin. I still have a bunch of quests we can actually do here. You can still do Hogger. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go fight Hogger, guys. That one forest looks pretty much the same. You can also get a wolf pet. Wolf pets are pretty good, actually. And... Uh, the reason why they're good, they give uh, ferocity. A lot of damage output from that, and they also give you 5% extra crit. We'll probably switch to wolf eventually. I assume this dog, maybe it's the same. Maybe they're tenet, their ferocity as well. I kind of consider wolves to be somewhat different from dogs. Good way to skin, though. Just slay all these doggos and skin them. And level leather working at the same time. All right, so here's the hogger uh, quest. So we'll pick this up. We'll go slay hogger. Wanted hogger, huge knoll hoggers. Howling the woods in southwestern Elwyn, he has overpowered all attempts at his capture. The Stormwind army has placed a generous bounty on the knoll. Turn the reward bounty hunters should venture into the woods and deal with the beast. Greetings. And uh, River no Riverpaw Knoll bounty. If that's uh, considered, it's probably too low for us. Heroes call Westfall. He's will pick that you. up. Westfall has fallen to hard times, friend. With the threat of the Defias extinguished, the region has become a haven for the homeless and downtrodden. The crime rate of the area has skyrocketed as people fight for shelter and food. Now I hear tale of murder. If you are interested in helping the people of the Alliance, Westfall should be a great place to start. Report to Lieutenant Horatio Lane at the Jans instead. You'll find Westfall directly west of Ellen Forest. All right, so we'll do that. First, we're going to slay Hogger because, you know, it's just something we should do. If you're playing Alliance, you should slay Hogger. Are the Knolls still here? It's funny how Hogger's still going. They kept Hogger in the game. It's a smart thing to do because he's such an iconic first elite to fight. I wonder if we get skinning from uh, slaying these guys. Can you skin of gnolls? No, you can't. They're humanoids. Mm -hmm. Hunter's pretty damn strong, though. Nice. We got a small pouch, guys. Another bag. Six slaughter. Maybe we'll hang it. We'll chill on the bags for now. And the thing is, though, as a hunter in uh, in Cataclysm, you don't even have to worry about arrows or anything, man. I think I still have these two. I I uh, saved hunter I, hunter arrows and bolt and bullets and stuff when they were taking them out of the game back in Wrath, like over ten years ago. Because I thought they'd be expensive on the auction house. I never really sold any of them. There's Hogger right here. Pretty cool spot he's in. Come on, Doggo. You can do something about this. Taunt him. Taunt him. Yay, Pelp Hogger. Oh, look at these little guys. 
Hogger is eating stopping. What does that do? No hurt Hogger. What happens when he eats? He just disappears. Looks kind of cool. Wow, what the heck's going on here, dude? Need help? General Marcus Johnson. Wow, Gur. This beast leads the Riverpaw Knoll gang and may be the key to the ending the Knoll aggression in Elwyn. We're taking him into custody in the name of King Varian Rin. Take us to the stockades, Andromath. He's going to the stockades. That's wild. Forgot. I never remember any of that, but that's cool. Herbold Bro's Deed. This is an old deed to an expanse of farmlands within Westfall. It is signed by a Theodore Furbro and co-signed by his wife, Verna. And on the back of the deed are hastily scrawled words. We leaned on Furbro and got his deed. Thought it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these for your own place. Furbro's won't give us trouble. Last I saw them, they were on their way out of Westfall, stuck with a broken wagon. You think the Fro Bros might want their deed back? Okay, so we got the deed back. Should we head over here and turn in the Hogger quest? I guess so, yeah, we'll do that. Do a little bit of exploring today. And then we'll make our way to Westfall. Yeah, Elwyn Forest still has that Elwyn Forest vibe to it. That Hogger uh, little experience was interesting. Seeing him having, like, going to uh, the stockades is kind of cool. I wonder if you fight him inside the stockades. Well, for sure, check out all the dungeons once we uh, unlock them. Try to do as many dungeons as I can in Vanilla, TVC, Wrath of Lich King, and, and also Cataclysm while we're leveling up. Princess must die. I still got that quest going. Is that princess there? Yeah. Might as well pick this up. Need help? The Blackwells have a prize-winning pig, Princess. The so is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here, eating my veggies. Just so happens that she's here now. Princess must die. Bring me your collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. To find Princess smack dab in the middle of our watermelon patch, get her. Have a good one. Okay, let's go get her. Go get her, doggo. Here we got the Billy Club. Hey there. Do you see her yet? Do you scare her? Thank goodness. That pig was getting so big. She'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, Elson. Now do anything. Now do any of these suit you? Funny how they made her bigger. Like, she's huge in Cataclysm. Take these Safe boots. Travels. They got 34 armor on them. Other boots. More than our other other boots that had 23 armor, so take those. And then we'll make our way to Culture. So that was cool. So I remember Princess being in another at another farm. I don't think it was at this one. But I guess, uh, yeah, she never died. And then uh, they just made her huge. So that's the lore of Princess. She just never died. No one ever killed her. She just kept on eating. Yeah, it was, it's smart of them to change the way Ogremar looks now, I think, in The War Within. Just so Cataclysm is kind of still, I guess, classic. Classic-esque, I guess you could say. Because <laughs> they're they're probably going into Mist of Pindaria. We'll probably go into Warlords of Draenor, I assume, too. I don't really see them stopping, unless people just stop playing. 
this version of the game, which I don't think will happen. Well met. Light bless you. He did what? Great. Now we have the bloodthirsty beast right beneath the streets of Stormwind. With a whole army of gnolls at his command. Definitely an improvement. I feel safer already. Here's your reward, Elsent. But promise me, you'll check in with the stockade guards in Stormwind at some point just to ensure that things are going smoothly. Alright, so we'll get this chest here. One Agi, two stamps, 63 armor, leather chest. Much better than our, our other chest. It's called the Footman friend. Tunic. So we'll put that on. Kind of matches our, our top hat. And now we're, we're heading to Westfall, guys. Let's see what's going on here. I think we can skin spiders, can we? No, you can't. No one likes spider skin. I kind of like this dog. I'm going to stick with him for a bit. I wonder if the black wolves are still in uh, Duskwood. That's a pet I'll probably end up picking up. Another one I want to get is a devil store. It would be cool to... Uh, if they're still around in Angoro, I believe they are. Go to Angoro Crater and we'll try to tame a devil store. That would be pretty fun. Try to get, like, the white and purple one. Antonio Pirelli. Bill Traveling. <laughs> Still the Traveling Salesman. How Let's are see if you? he sells anything good here. Yeah, no, not bad. Nice bracers, wolf bracers. These are pretty good. Sells some herbs as well. Fails. See you around. We should sell some junk to him. Hey there. This guy is great if you're playing hardcore. Like getting bracers from him, he has some pretty good bracers. For uh, especially rogue, I think I bought some of them. Have a good one. Earl Burrow's deed. Let's check this out. We actually have a, something to read. This is a deed to an expanse of land within the region of Westfall. It entitles the person below with ownership rights of the designated area, as well as all items produced and any structures built within its borders. The documents is signed by Theodore Furbro, Verna Furbro. Okay. The words below were quickly scrawled on the back of the deed. We leaned on Furbro and got his deed Thought it might be handy if you wanted to forge one of these for your own place. Probros won't give us trouble. Last I saw them, they were on their way out of Westfall, stuck with a broken wagon. Still stuck with the broken wagon. I, I think this might be a different group, though. Yeah, this is a different... Oh my gosh. Verna Furbro and Farmer Furbro. Looks like they went down. We got a doctor here. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? What's happened to us? We're in the worse shape now than when the Defias ran amok. Stormwind Investigator. It's a bloodbath, Lieutenant. They must have been murdered. West Plains Drifter. Yep, that King Varian is good for nothing. Given the body temperature, I'd say they've been dead no more than six hours. Damn shame. What they did to old Blanche. Good call. No kidding, rookie. Looks like we got like a couple detectives here. It's like they really put the the cart before the horse. There's a uh, lieutenant ratio. So that's sad. They never got saved. No, they, no one ever actually helped them. Like you do uh, back in classic. What can I do for you? Watch your footing, rookie. For the alliance. Murder, rookie. That's what you're looking at on the ground right in front of us. Light bless you. Here's the deal, kid. We've got a full-blown murder on our hands. Double homicide, single horse inside. Worse yet, we're in Westfall. I could throw a rock behind me and hit a dozen hobos with motive enough to want to rip these people and horse out. Now, I don't know who did this, and I sure don't appreciate having to come to this dump to investigate the deaths of a couple of squatters. 
but I'll be damned if I don't find the perp. You want to help? Go talk to some bums. The hobo knows. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to the, Go with honor, the bums here. We don't need any civilian vigilante types getting involved, kid. Leave this one to the professionals. Be careful. This is useless. Look at the date on this letter. The Frobros have been squatting on Jance instead for five years. They never could quite get their wagon fixed. For the Alliance. Well met. That's brutal, man. No one helped them. Everyone just walks by him. Like, yeah, I'm not doing that quest. And then they, yeah, they died. Crime scene alarm bots. So here's the drifters. I guess these are the guys we gotta talk to. I ain't telling you nothing. You see who killed the Furbros? Maybe I can sell your liver for some gold. <laughs> what the heck? Not today. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Mine! 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 What the heck? That's hilarious. What the? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. This is interesting, man. Oh, the big hero has arrived. Time saved. Yeah, right. Maybe a couple copper will loosen your tongue. Now tell me, did you see who killed the furballs? I'll give him two copper. Listen, pal, I don't want any trouble, okay? I didn't see who murdered him, but I sure heard it. Lots of yelling human voices, you dig? Now get out of here before I change my mind about beating you up and taking your shoes. I wonder if it's possible to eat rocks. Got plenty of rocks around here. Just imagine it. I'd be the richest person in the world for making that discovery. <laughs> yeah, everyone here has lost their bloody mind. Kind of sad. So we got to we get you? any information Life there? Bless you. Did he tell us anything or did I just give him two copper for nothing? So we got one clue. Gotta get four clues. This person just... Oh, what the heck? They're fighting. I wonder who's gonna win this fight. Oh, she threw dirt in his face. Cla awesome strat. I think this guy's gonna lose. Oh, she's still losing. Oh, she's running. What a savage. And then the kids come and rob her. Does she have boots? Get them. <laughs> what the heck? Never got better in Westfall. See who killed the fur bros. Maybe I could sell your liver for some gold. I think we gotta pay him. They ain't, say, they ain't saying nothing unless you pay him. What about this guy, transient? You wanna talk, pay up. All right. I didn't see you killed him, bub, but I got a whiff. Smelled rich, kind of like you. Damn shame, too. Furballs were a fixture around here. Nice people always willing to share a meal or a patch of dirt. Give this guy some money. Who killed the Furballs? I'll tell you who. The Furballs. King Varian Rin? That's who. And he's killing the rest of us, too. One bum at a time. The only thing I can tell you... Is that I saw some gnolls leaving the place a few hours before the law arrived. The gnolls, gnolls are taking over. How do I see a voice chat transcription? I guess maybe that's what it is. Speech to text voice. Speech to text allows you to add closed captioning in a voice channel. Show class color. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, creatures say, yeah, we want to hear all this. There we go. Get off my land. Thanks, Pam. Between me and, between me and the tree, Murlocs killed the furballs. Yep, saw them with my own two eyes. I think they'd be ca casing the joint for days. Maybe months. They left in a hurry. Once they got wind of Johnny Law and the idiot brigade over there. I don't think I'm going to make it. All right, so we can. T I think we can turn this in now. 
So let's head over there and tell them everything we heard. I think we we relied to quite a bit there, though. Light be with you. Knowles and Murlocs, horse poopy, pal. Knowles and Murlocs didn't kill these people. I've seen what Knowles and Murlocs do to people that ki they kill, and this isn't it. Too pretty, too perfect. Furthermore, the Furbos had been squatting on this farm for five years. No, whoever wiped them out had a reason. This is murder, plain and simple, and we are going to get to the bottom of it. Okay. So we'll take uh, the Agi Cloak. It's not much better. I don't even know if it's better. It's called the Equicide Cloak. Or the Alliance. I think we want Agi more than Strength, so we'll put it on. It's got one less armor. All right, hot on the trail, the River Pock Clan. Seeing as how we have no other leads, may as well chase down the information you got. There are a couple of River Pock noble camps in the area. Track them down and search for clues. Bring back anything that you might find. Isolate your search to the River Paw Knolls and scouts. Hot on the trail, Murlocs. As pointless as I think that this is going to be, I need to investigate all of our leads. I need you to head out to Longshore, West Severe, on the coast and shake up some Murlocs. Try to find a clue or some info that can help shed light on the murders. Turn to me if you get be lucky. Careful. All right, so we got some quests today. So we'll finish these up. Kind of interested in this, uh, this investigation. Get quite a bit of winning cloth from this. And being a hunter's awesome. There we go. We got the first clue. Let's go to the Murlocs now. I can't wait till we get Aspect of the Cheetah. Let's actually start flying around. Give us the Murloc clue. Captain Sanders' treasure map. It's a level 9 quest. Check it out, though. Captain Cesar Sanders' hidden treasure map. You'd be reading this. It means that old Captain Sanders is in a watered grave. So my treasure is now yours. You just need to follow the clues. First, you need to find me a footlocker. It's probably half buried in the sand by now. Along the western coast of Westfall, near the shipwreck. There'll be lots of shipwrecks, but only one rusty anchor on the coast. Find the anchor and you'll find me locker. Look in there for the next clue. Right, so I think we got the Murloc clue now. Hold on to this. This quest for now, why not? I might buy some bags. So we don't have to worry about bag space. It's not a hardcore playthrough, right? So you don't have to I don't really think bag space is like interest like interesting in, in cardcore it is. And bag space is really important for hunters because you have to actually carry ammo. In uh, Cataclysm, we don't. And yeah, I actually have old school ammo. They took it out of the game. I have it on one of my characters. In uh, retail, I, you could actually sell it. Need help? Quite a bit, I think. Light bless you. As like a memento. Find anything on the nose? I've never sold one though. I have like 999 arrows. But I never sold one. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Because I'm not laughing bits and pieces of red cloth. What the hell is this supposed to mean? For the Alliance. I goes the Murloc hunt. I got level 15, which means we can do dungeons be now. Careful. Nice find, rookie. I think I have a stack of these on my desk back at the station. We're basically back to square one. What do we know? Someone that likes to write fiction about the past sent the Furbros a letter. 
Looks like we got ourselves a real history mystery. Life bless you. Me too, shooed Alu. Looks like we got ourselves a real who done it here, rookie. Unfortunately, it looks like the locals aren't willing to talk, and the clues you got off the knolls and murlocs are damn near worthless. We're going to have to initiate a plan. Be on the lookout for Two Shoot Lou. Two Shoot Lou is an old confidential informant of mine who ironically makes his home at the Furboro Old Pumpkin Farm. Head west to the farm and find out what Lou knows. If he gives you any guff, tell him that Horatio said. Right, let's go see Lou. Find out what he has to say. I wonder if they're still there. The arrows. I haven't checked in a long time. Like they could have taken them out of the game with a patch. But this is this reminded me of that. I, whenever Blizzard says they're going to take something out of the game at the end of an expansion, I, back in the day I used to really uh, try to get it. Because then it becomes, you know, considered, you know, to be rare. I always thought that stuff was kind of cool to collect. Getting a lot of greens here. We got a burnt leather vest, two spirit 56 armor. We won't be wearing that. And we got a male legs, 55 armor, one strength, one stam. Looks like the Defiance Brotherhoods don't control this area. It's just a bunch of drifters. Got a small time hustler here, Jim Candles Mechanigan. And there's two shoot Lou. Looks like he's from Gilmaeus. Look, we ain't got no room for no more. Ratio send you? Right then. Um, how can I help you? He's not here, is he? Heh. <laughs> he knows I wasn't hiding from him, right? I was just trying to lay low and all that, you know? Listen, I really shouldn't be talking to you, but I owe Horatio a favor, too. I don't really know nothing about what happened to the Furbos, but I might be able to point you in the right direction. Lou hands you a large crate. That crate used to be my home before... I struck it rich. Now I'm living fr the, fr the living the life every hobo dreams of, right? So you take that there living crate and head to the Jangalode mine southwest here. Head to the back of the mine and once there, hide in the crate. So we have another one. There's, we're going to be end up, end up fighting kobolds, I guess. So we might as well pick this up too. I take candle back before those damn kobolds gave me a permanent limp. I used to be William Pesley. William Pesley's number one candle supplier. Hell, I'll, I even came up with the line, I take candle. Yeah, that was me. Kobold would say, you know, take candle. And I'd just respond, I take candle. And then bash their brains in. Jim drifts off for a second. Good times, the best times. Now, can't even use the bathroom without assistance. You want to help me? Kill me those kobolds. To find a load of them in the nearby mine. That's probably why he's got the helmet on. I'm hitting the head quite a bit. Beast or famine, coyote tails. Shaked out its, its, its salvines. Sounds like a cool quest. Maybe we'll pick up, pick up Shakedown at salvines. Actually didn't go in here. Feast or famine's whatever. So like this guy takes care of everybody. And we got a, a griffin here. His name's Hobo Air. <laughs> they got griffins though, man. Where's that other quest though? Shakedown at Saldine's Lieutenant Horatio. See here? Okay, so I guess he eventually shows up. I'm not picking up the, the coyote quest. We could have. Maybe I should have. We're going to end up killing a bunch anyways. Did we get a, a talent? Yeah, we did. So I think we'll take uh, improved servicing. Your servicing also 
Does instant damage equal to 15% of its total periodic effect? Also increases the periodic critical strike chance of your surfacing by 5%. So we got the first rank of that. We can get another rank. And we get another talent. Hope you weren't looking for something to eat, Hunter. Life in West Falls, hard, sunny. Every day is a struggle. You can sometimes go weeks without a decent meal. That's why it's important. We all help each other out. Maybe you can lend a hand. Hey, I'm making dirt pies and need some ingredients. Give me some fresh dirt from the pumpkin patch out front of the... Uh, and a bundle of coyote tails. Flying coyotes wandering all over the wilds of West Falls. Get moving. We got mouths to feed. Dirt pies. Why don't you just feed coy feed them like coyote tails? I don't think the dirt really <laughs> really adds flavor. Fresh dirt. I guess they're really trying to show everybody how tough the times are here. In uh, in Westfall. Like look at even the even the the animals are looking starving. Like look at these young these gore tusks, man. Very thin. Yeah, this should be fun. I'm looking forward to doing these zones. And we've unlocked dungeons, guys. So we have Ragefire Chasm. You can do Ragefire Chasm as a as alliance now. Didn't know you could do that. And dead mines. And you just do random classic dungeons and you get a satch. Satch will help with goods and, and a money reward of 35 silver. Probably check that out. I think we'll do dungeons at least once. I don't want to do too much. Because I actually want to like, like level in this zone. I'm looking forward to level in here. I want to check out as many Azeroth zones as we can. Did we get that before the Boomkin did? Yeah, we did. Nice. Oh, that's the Boomkin's pet. Should probably turn nameplates on so we can see if someone tags these mobs or not. We got another green. Not bad. It's called the Burnt Leather Vest. We got another one. So we have two of those now. I wonder if we have the talent to uh, go to like dog mode. We like go really fast. Like, only have, do we only have that dark flight? Turns you into two forms. So yeah, we can turn into... Uh, there we go. We can turn into our uh, our human form. It's kind of cool. Dirt pies don't make themselves usually. Just smelling you coming got my stomach rumbling. We're gonna eat like kings tonight. There we go. We got some Westfall mud pies. Makes your stomach rumble. Yeah, there's a form to like pretty much. Run as fast as a man. Increases your chance to gain a skill. And we're going back. We were in Stormwind. We should have. Like, if you're RPing as a. As a Worgen, and when you're in Stormwind, you should probably switch to, uh, to your other form. Just to not, you know, scare anyone while you're there. Flares. It's just skinny one. We got bartering. Reduces the gold price of items from vendors by 10%. I didn't know that uh, Morgan's had that. Alright, so we're at the Jangle Load Mine. It doesn't look like we have like the speed up ability. Maybe that's just Dark Flight. There's Aberration. Increases your resistance to harmful nature and shadow effects by 11 
But I remember there's like a, a like you can pretty much mount up as a worgen just runs so fast. Look at this boomkin, man. What a boomkin. Just pulls the whole place. Classic boomkin. Haley's everything down. We're heading to the back of this mine, though. We have to jump in a crate. Where's the crate at? Oh, there it is. Damn it, we're not going to see a damn thing. There's Glove Talk. And this is, uh... What little whom you want? Why you call it Glove Talk? Shadowy figure, sad is this life that you had hoped for, Club Talk. Running two bit extortion operations out of a cave. Club Talk crush you. Oh, will you? Do you dare cross that line and risk your life? You may attempt to kill me and fail, or you may take option two. What little whom you want? Why you call Club Talk? What option two? You join me and I shower wealth and power upon you. So Globe Talk have two choices. Die or be rich and powerful? Globe Talk take choice too. <laughs> I thought you'd see it my way. I'll call for you when the dawning is upon us. I wonder who that is. Find some more cobalts. But yeah, I think. Should I tell you guys who that is, or who I think it is? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's uh, it's Van Cleef's daughter. She's the last boss in Dead Mines. That would make sense. She's trying to like avenge her father. Her father's death. Probably do dead mines. I want to just the fun dungeon. They did a great job with it. Put a lot of work into this expansion. Quite a bit. Like changing all these zones, it's quite a and the quests too. It's a lot of work. That's why I kind of appreciate this uh this expansion. It's cool to check it out again. Like, I assume they did more work with this expansion than, than probably many of the, f the future ones. It's not only that they have to, like, have new zones for, you know, 8085. They also had to redo, pretty much, the entire world. Okay. Oh, sweet. Justice killing... Those kobolds won't make me walk like a normal person. It, it sure won't give me a job, but damn, does it feel good. Jim reaches into a crusty old sack. Here, I think I got something for you from my kobold hunting days. Maybe you can put it to good use. Nice, right, so we got a dagger here. What, what sells for the most? I don't think we really use any of this. So let's take this three silver, 20 copper kobold basher. 
living the life. Lou puts his hands to his ears and starts talking loudly. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know and I don't care. That kind of information is liable to get you killed around these parts. I got one more bit of information for you and then we're done. Lou's parting thoughts. A couple of thugs recently showed up at the farm causing all kinds of trouble. I don't know where they came from or who they're working for, but I know they're bad news. I may have overheard them talking about subjects that might interest you. If you're interested, you'll find the thugs back behind the farmhouse. If you get caught or killed, I don't know you, never seen you. Good luck, kid. Back behind the farmhouse. Should be right over here, right? There they are. There's the thugs. You say, did you did you meet her? Did you? Yep, she's for real. She wanted me to tell you, Lugs, that she appreciates the job we did for her on the fur bros. Gave me a pile of gold to split with y'all. See your face? Is it really? Whoa. What do we have here? Looks like we have ourselves an eavesdropper, boys. Right, let's deal with them. Only one thing to do with a lousy good for nothing eavesdropper. Die. Okay, let's kite. Well, these guys get wrecked. There's barely any health. Get him, doggo. Get them all. No, the thugs got wrecked. Hurry back to, to the Fur Bulls cottage. What the heck happened? Oh, this guy got wrecked. We're snitching. Two shoot Lou. What happened to you? Greetings. He's got a he's got boots on his head. Someone stole his shoes. We're dealing with an organization here, rookie. You don't just off the richest bum in Westfall in broad daylight and leave no witnesses. Someone with a lot of powers behind these murders. What have you learned so far? Go with honor, friend. So what do we know so far? We need to know, the, we need to follow the clues. Over the Jansen stead, you found a water-soaked letter and some scraps of red cloth. Here at the Furbos, you overheard a conversation between some shadowy figure and an ogre mage. You also got a confession to the murder from a bunch of thugs whom you then killed. Something isn't adding up, rookie. There's an old couple east southeast of here at the Saldine's farm. Head over there, speak with the farmer Saldine. I know what he knows. For the Alliance. See what they said here. This was an execution. Whoever did this was sending a message. A message for anyone who would dare snitch on these criminals. It would appear that poor Lou really put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there we go. Too bad that uh, would have the two shoe Lou. But uh, next episode, we'll be heading down to see the Saldines. And we'll find out more about the uprising of the new defias brotherhood but that is going to be the end of today's episode as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later